Representative Anderson, for what reason do you seek recognition? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Point of personal privilege. Please proceed, sir. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, we are on day 21 of our session, of our spring session, which means we have approximately 31 days left for the remainder of the session. The significance of that is that at this point, we have had virtually zero discussions about the budget in this chamber. Now, we've seen the Senate work hard. It may succeed, it may fail, but I don't think we should be relying on the Senate to do anything. What we need to be doing is working on our budget now. And I will tell you, I have had many conversations with people. Some people believe that we can do this without revenue. And that may be true. I think mathematically, it is possible. I've also spoken with people who believe that we can do this without reforms. And I suppose, in theory, that's possible too. But there are three numbers that matter, ladies and gentlemen, 60, 30, and 1. And my question for both sides of that equation is, do you have the votes? If you do, great, run it. If you don't, and I suspect the answer on both sides is they don't, then we need to compromise. Compromise requires conversation, and I'm concerned that we're not having that conversation. So please, I beg you on behalf of the people of the state of Illinois, let's start talking. Let's work together in the spirit of compromise so that we can get that done. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.